serving as the face of the young core of the most successful sporting franchise in the United States. Uh, Gleyber Torres both has the situation that he's in and he also has to play to back it up to prove that he is an elite young player. Uh, how you guys doing? It is Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020 in this quarantine. I'm James Sims. Uh, and as a baseball fan and as a and as a as someone who really appreciates this young up and coming let the kids play era of baseball um i'm really i'm i'm also, i'm a really really big fan of Gleyber Torres despite the fact that he's on the Yankees and as a fan of baseball who's not from New York i can say i hate the Yankees naturally cuz it's it's it would be unnatural if you didn't but i will say that i really really like Gleyber Torres um, he's, uh, he's really, really young. He's only 23 years old coming out of Venezuela. Um, great size. He's six foot one, about 200 pounds. And the, the way he's built himself up from when he was signed by Chicago and then traded to New York. And now he's one of the elites, one of the elite premier young MLB players. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of insight as to just who he is. Of course. Yeah, so he was signed in 2013 by the Cubs. And then after eight, after about five years in the minor league system, he finally got promoted, went to the Yankees. Uh, and of course, he started off, he's had, he had an amazing start to his career. So in his rookie season, his age 21 season, in the 123 games he would play, he would have 117 hits, less hits than games played. But I mean, he would have a 271 batting average, batting tw hitting 24 home runs and 77 RBIs with a 30 with a 340 on base percentage, which would have him getting an All Star. He would be he would be an All Star in his first season, and he would end up finishing third in the Rookie of the Year rankings behind uh, Shohei Otani, the uh, the pitching and hitting phenom for the Los Angeles Angels from Japan, and also he finished behind Miguel Andujar, who played third who plays third baseman on the Yankees who didn't have quite the second year that Gleyber Torres did. But, of course, being in New York and playing for the Yankees, of course, everyone knew who Gleyber Torres was. Uh, they knew that he was a bright, up-and-coming young player, and it looked as though he, at one point in his career, once he reaches his pinnacle, he could be one of the many faces, if not the face, of the New York Yankees franchise, and especially around these other really, really good players. It looks as though he's going to be in the playoffs for a very, very long time coming. And of course, in the in his first year, they made the playoffs, and they would eventually lose to the Red Sox. So that's kind of that whole situation. And uh, naturally, in his second year, in the one hundred forty four games he would play, he would get one hundred fifty two hits, which is more hits than games played, which is something I really appreciate. Uh, in a young player, he would finish with a two seventy eight batting average, uh, three thirty seven on base percentage, lower than the season before. Um, he w and then he would finish with 38 home runs and 90 RBIs on the season while hitting, while, while, while um, becoming an all-star for the second time in his career. And he would finish 17th in the MVP voting. But at the end of the day, wh who's really saying anything? Um, I think a lot of why I like Gleyber Torres is that um, he was able to come up in this Yankee system. And I think with all the pressure that comes with being a young New York Yankees phenom, uh, especially that came in at the age that he did on an organization like the Yankees. I mean, it's really rare for a 21-year-old to step on the scene on the New York Yankees, play shortstop, a position that you know is sacred in, 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 Bronx, in the Bronx. I mean, he stepped up to that role. He filled it in pretty well. And just by watching him play and just seeing how New York Yankees fans like him, I mean... I think he's the I I think he's the the right like predator or he's the he's the successor to Derek Jeter. I think that's very fair to say and I think Yan I think I think the Yankees really like him and there's there's something about that. I I I find it very admirable for someone to come in that young on the Yankees behind Derek Jeter who may go down as one of the great who may go down as the greatest Yankee in a while. So I mean he's really taking that position. He's he, and he's still exceeding expectations that are given upon him because at the end of the day other Yankees that even came in as rookies I mean Aaron Judge came in as I think a 24 or a 25 year old rookie I mean there, there aren't that many young rookies that can step up and and play this well on a playoff contending team and he was able to do that his first year and then make the jump his second year and still give you that production that uh and then he also plays a little bit of flair a little bit of fun he has that star quality added to him and he's in New York City. Um, I think 
for his individual ability, he's most de- like as an individual player, he is most definitely elite. I mean, even just finishing with a two seventy eight ERA, and then it was ni- and finishing with ninety six runs on the season. I mean, for the New York Yankees. And I know I'm putting a lot of weight on him being a young New York Yankee, but at the end of the day, it's the New York Yankees. They have set, they have 27 World Series titles, so of course the expectations are through the roof. And I just think his 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 ability to kind of handle and control that while still being a young player and still getting better and better every day and making less and less mistakes, which is something I like to see with a lot of players as they're young and they're getting older and they're getting more accustomed to this game. I, I, I really, really like him. I like his situation. Um, I like the kind of person that he is. And I know that he's going to be a star in New York for the years to come. I'm not saying he's necessarily going to be Derek Jeter. But I think a lot of Yankee fans would agree in that. Out of a lot of players, I think he's the right player to be the successor in the New York Yankees franchise. Uh, to take, the, to take the, the mantle of the shortstop, the, the, the captain of the infields being an elite offensive player and defensive player, being setting an example for others on his team. I don't know if a lot of players embody that in the MLB like Glaber Torres does. And I know, I'm just going to keep this one really, really short and sweet. I like him. Um, New, York, New York Yankees fans like him. And I understand if you don't like him because he plays for the New York Yankees, which is valid. Everyone except for Yankees fans hates the Yankees. Fair. Completely Fair. But I think we should still acknowledge that he is yet again another young player that that like when I refer to young players, um, I always say that uh, when they're young and you can see that they're definitely building up to becoming one of the best players in baseball. I mean, I would start watching a good young player just to see their whole career pan out. And as a sports fan, of course, it's fun to see that if you haven't listened to my other my if you listen, haven't listened to my other bits about other young elite players, I basically say that almost every time and I mean it. Young players, especially at this point, they're not close to the apex of their careers yet, but they're still at, and they're still playing at such an elite level, playing with and they're putting up numbers that are kind of similar, if not really, really, really close to players that are at their apex of their careers that people are considering the best in their leagues. And Glaber Torres is one of them playing in a tough division like the AL East, playing for a team like the Yankees, of course, it's very easy to get overshadowed, but he's not. I mean, he play, He runs the base as well. He plays amazing defense. He makes a lot of contact. He brings a lot of players in. I mean, that's what you want out of a baseball player. He's not controversial. He doesn't do anything stupid. He doesn't do anything dumb. He makes, he's a smart kid who plays baseball. I mean, there's no right way to play baseball. He plays it the right way. And considering how he's the young centerpiece for this New York Yankees team, who's already a, a tough, a top playoff contender right now, and it looks like they're not going to slow down anytime soon. It feels as though we're going to see a lot of Glaber Torres, especially as the Yankees get better with time with Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton and Garrett Cole and other young pitchers and young hitters just in that organization. For the, and hopefully if Gary Sanchez can get his batting average up, the Yankees are a very unstoppable team and Glaber, Glaber Torres can be a really big part of that. I see a few, I see a few championships with this Yankees team and Glaber Torres will be a big part of it so that's kind of my spiel uh thanks once again for listening to all eight and a half minutes of this and i'm just gonna sign off by saying peace